Okay, in this tutorial we are going to be talking about the limit switch and it looks and it acts very similar to the button except that it takes a lot less pressure to actually activate the switch and when it's activated it turns on your motors or does whatever you want it to. So it's programmed pretty much the same way and we're going to actually use our code here to, to use it. So hopefully you still have this. But head over to motor and sensor setup. A limit switch is also a digital sensor so let's go ahead and I want you to plug your limit switch into port 5. And we're just going to call this limit switch. All lowercase, all one word. Press OK. It's going to create that limit switch part on the top of the code. And then where it says if sensor value button is equal to 1, where it's comparing it, we're going to put an additional condition in there. So you're going to press space. And then above the enter key, I want you to hold down shift and then press that little slash twice. And if you do it correctly, they should be like vertical slashes, not the side slashes that they usually are. Okay. And then I want you to write sensor value and then a parenthesis limit switch close parenthesis space equal equal space one. Okay, and to break down what this does is if you press the button, this code is going to work. These two forward slashes we did mean or. So if we press the one in, the, the, the button, this will happen. Or if you press the limit switch, this will happen. Okay, so it's just an or condition. Either this could be true or this can be true and the code will just run. Okay, give it a go and see what happens, and I'll see you for the next tutorial. Peace.